this idea of the art world is that you, if you work hard, you participate, you're going to be guaranteed 100 grand in museum shows. It's like a truncated version of the art world that just doesn't exist. And so, uh, you know, I wrote a rant, just something that's not terribly logical, and just kind of delve in, you know, into my feelings about the show and the, uh, the whole thing. Um, and kind of turned it back, you know, into art. So, generally, one thing that all the art students want is just uh, how I feel about things and how I think about them. You know, kind of filtered through either a satirical voice or a uh, parody, um, just so that I can actually deal with it and not, not talk about it. <laughs> we'll just move the focus a little bit this way. Um, the two original pieces in the show flank this wonderful piece in the middle called Hooverville. Um, I think in the main what we've been talking about, why don't we talk a little bit about Hooverville? Hooverville actually, I, did, I, I, I was proud to be a this piece in the art fairs in New York City in March of 2010. And it was much bigger than the original. And uh, it's basically, uh, well, go ahead and tell them about what this elaborate drawing is. It's actually a public art proposal, um, which was we were trying to get somebody to allow us to take all the artists who come down to Miami and feel useless and disgusted with themselves and sad and lonely and you know, alienated by the amount of wealth and the kind of social pressures of having to go to these A-list parties and blah, blah, blah. That we really wanted to just try to get artists to come and build their own little Hooperville outside of the convention center, perhaps in protest, or just to do something fun and ridiculous. And so as part of that proposal, uh, I think Dave Thomas and I started work on this drawing, which turned into also a piece of social commentary about the art world and its hierarchies. And so you have, you have, you know, collectors and curators and critics kind of slumming it and wandering around and looking at what all the artists are doing. Um, and then you have people that we all care about and know about, and in the background you have this kind of revolution fomenting as they start building a siege tower to, you know, take down this giant center of art inside that's air conditioned and like a mall. And, you know, kind of pop out that connection or disconnect between artists and um, what happens to their work after they've done it, making it. And, you know, the idea that it was even a proposal was lost in the making of it. Because it pissed off so many people that it became such a sideshow, you know. Uh, but it's, you know, I think it's a, a kind of portrait of the, the scope of the art world, uh, how big it can you know, see. Yeah, it rewards capital. 